by them, by the community, reaching out and helping them, showing HaKadosh Baruch Hu that there's a community in America that's still the Achdus, that doesn't ask a question, but is immediately there to help, and a family that's immediately there to help, and a rabbi that's standing while the house is burning. That is a very positive, positive thing. There are things in life that we have no bechira, we have no choice. Many things, who our parents are, where we live, many things we think we have choice, we don't have choice. The things that we have choice is what do we do with the things we don't have choice? They didn't burn down that house. You can't even blame it on the kids, or someone smoking in bed, it was an electrical fire. We can't blame it on a human being. I know some people said the builder, some people said that, that's foolish. These people build a lot of houses, there are thousands of maybe miles of wire in everybody's house. There are sparks, there are, there are gas ranges. There was no reason here. So I think it happened to a family like this because I push Baruch Hu knew that they would choose not to say it was an accident, it's the builder's fault, it's the children's fault, but they would take this physical fire and turn it into something spiritual. And therefore what Mia said is very important. Don't let this go to waste. Learn from what happened here. What a beautiful community you had. Take on yourselves extra things in the spiritual world. There was a fire, Rabbi Kelvin spoke about many different fires in the Torah. I just want to say one more word. I know there's an over and under on me too. I think it was 40 minutes. And it'll probably be over now, it'll be under. I just want to finish with a bracha. There's another fire in the Torah. A fire by Moshe Rabbeinu. And Moshe Rabbeinu was in the desert. And he saw by Yamalach Hashem Elo Balamas Eish Yitaychasna, and appeared to him a Malach from a flame of fire. By Yami Hine Hasna Boy of Eish for Hasna Einenu Ucho, and Moshe Rabbeinu saw that this bush was burning, but the bush was not disintegrating. The fire was not affecting the bush at all. By Yom Moshe Moshe said, Asuru Na Ve'Ere Es Amara Agadol Hazeh I must stop. I must think. I must look at this unbelievable miracle. Why isn't this bush burning? Now we know all the good things about Moshe Rabbeinu, but the Torah tells us why Hashem picked him. Hashem Hashem saw that Moshe stopped to look at this bush and tried to understand it. And then Vayibra Eilu Velokim. A lot of people have fires in their lives, many tragedies and many things that happen in their lives, and they blame it on nature, and they walk right by, and they don't learn anything from it. Hashem saw that Moshe Rabbeinu saw a fire, and it wasn't burning the way he thought it should be, and he stopped, and he thought, what is going on over here? And that's when Hashem decided to call on to him, that a person who stops and thinks when things in life that are not natural happen, those are Moshe Rabbeinu's. So my bracha, to the doc, to Mia, to the whole family, is that you have done the same thing. There has been a fire, and you have stopped today, and since the fire, and thought about, what is this all about? That this fire is just like the fire in the bush. It shouldn't physically destroy you. It shouldn't physically burn anything. You should understand that it's a spiritual fire, and a spiritual fire is growth. My bracha to you is that Rish Baruch Hu stole this by Moshe, and the next word is by Yikra Hashem on Moshe. When Rish Baruch Hu saw that Moshe learned something from the fire, Hashem said, this is the person I want to talk to. May Rish Baruch Hu reward you for stepping back and not saying it's an accident, and stepping back and saying this is something to teach us how close our community is, how much people care, how close you want to be to Rish Baruch Hu, how many changes you want to make the next thing that the Baruch Hu should do is when Yikra, Hashem, to the doctor, to Mia, to the family, to the whole community, and may we talk to sit this makes Hashem this Friday in Eretz Yisrael, in the Suda Yisrael, to the Kosh Baruch Hu, and to bring all of us together and take the fire that we have learned so much from and build the Beis Hamikdash, the third Beis Hamikdash, which will be built out of fire. Thank you.